You're a buck. Well, it's not my birthday. Gee, it must be Christmas. <laughs> I'm here for my friend, Keith. Ah, sorry, it doesn't ring a bell. You bought him from Hoyt. Ah, him. <laughs> he said his name was... You're hysterical. <laughs> no. All right, then. Let's get down to brass tags. You must be Jason Brody. Look, I just want Keith. Jason, Jason, Jason. <laughs> We're not all savages here. We're just businessmen, responsible capitalists. I've got something that, that you want, right? That's a product. You've got something that I want. And what the hell is that? Temper, temper, Jace. Be careful. If you do me in, you'll never get him back. Find this for me. You score that, and you and I are even, Stephen. And Keith goes with you. Bring me what has been lost. I've, I've seen this knife before. Knife? What do you mean, knife? That's just a fucking knife. It's art. More history in this than you and Keith four arches squeezed together. That's my fucking fee, right? Where is it? It's Trey Hunter. He knew where it was. Advice he got the wanker's boat. Research he was doing on some Chinese treasure. And his crew. Do you know what else he got? The knife? No, no fucking knife. It's location. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you want Keith back? Get on the goddamn boat. Find out where the artifact's buried before someone else nicks it. I'm on your bike. Fuck off. Hi. So, uh, Buck is kind of a dark character. I <laughs> quite like him, though. He's, like all the others, extremely well voice acted. Uh, anyway, from there I decided to head out to, I think it's Tequila Sunrise, which is closest, and jump on the hang glider to head over to the ship, which is in the middle of the sea, unsurprisingly, as these ships tend to be. And I thought I'd uh, come in low and get some speed up, but, uh, yeah, that doesn't work so well. <laughs> I end up landing the thing in the water. Anyway, uh, swim on over. There's a ladder there on the right hand side, so up that, and uh, then I think I use an enhanced perception. I was using a hunter's what's it? Hunter's instinct earlier because I didn't want to have my face eaten by sharks, but I didn't actually see any. And then a little bit of camera tagging. Uh, there are two guys here, obviously, and they go down pretty easily to wabam! Take down. Uh, chain takedown and then knife takedown on that guy. Uh, the two guys up there obviously saw me and ran away. Um, but I got three of them quite nicely, I thought. Anyway, there are... Oh, there's a guy. Uh, there's a few left. Shot him in the balls. Poor guy. There's a few left on the boat and for some reason uh, I'm quite happy to kill those two with a gun, but I make a deserted... deserted? Is that a word? It's not a word, is it? Uh, concerted. There we go. Discerning. Discerning effort? Concerted effort. I make a concerted effort to kill the rest of them with a knife, and I've genuinely got no idea why. I threw a rock there to try and tempt that guy over. That worked really well. With those two snipers there either side, it just seemed like it would be hard to get both of them, because one of them is usually looking this way. Anyway, I sped up the waiting for him to turn around, and then get him in the neck, and knife that guy. Wabam! Um, so there are three guys left. I think there's two normals and a heavy. There they are. And now there is going to be an awful lot of faffing, so I've sped it up. I tried to get a jump assassination on one of them, but they were too far away. I don't know what the height limit for a jump assassination is. I tried a proximity mine, but uh, when I used it, it ended up just right in front of me, so I ran away from that. And it actually went off, but didn't kill anyone. Uh, this guy I managed to take down without too much trouble. This one is kind of dumb. Uh, but he grenades, so I wanted to get away. Here we go. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, he's on the move, so I managed to take him down. Oh, I don't take him down, I stab him instead. Uh, and then uh, just the heavy left, and I come around behind him and slash him a couple of times. And I'm sorry, I forget who pointed it out, but this is because I'm on medium that I'm able to kill them with two slashes. I'm not playing on hard. I might play through my next playthrough on hard. 
Anyway, I went and looted the boat, but cut that so you don't have to watch it, and then you enter through this door. Uh, this is where I use Enhanced Perception. There we go. So I can see how many dudes there are. There's the first one, and this is actually pretty easy. They're fairly far apart. These two down here are together. Sorry, looting. Looking for loot. Anyway, these two down here are together, so I uh, think I'll chuck a grenade in, and then it all goes a bit wrong and explodes near me. Although it doesn't hit me. It was sort of, it was almost like a dud grenade. It went... <coughs> anyway, he comes up to investigate, so he goes down pretty quickly. And then there's just one guy left, uh, who is obviously not going to be too hard to take down. I've amped up the brightness here a little bit, just because it's super dark in the boat. So we will see if that works out. It kind of looks okay. And I grabbed the alarm. I wasn't sure if reinforcements would come, but I didn't like the idea of it happening. So always good to keep an eye out for alarms. Uh, I guess maybe the dudes from outside would run in. I don't know. Anyway, there's a couple of guys in here. One goes down pretty easily, and the other one is doing some welding, because that's important. It's always good to weld a small metal box. Uh, then, looking for loot, there is not much. I think there's some body armor or a med kit or something around here. Um, yeah, it was a med kit. And then two guys here with their backs turned, who are just begging for a chain execution. Uh, there we go. And then there's a guy over there in the back, but he was never in the right position for uh, knife takedown, unfortunately. And I've just picked up, or haven't just picked up, but um, I've done four or five of these story missions, because I've pretty much cleared out the North Island now. And uh, so I've been going through the story, and I've just met Citra to get the pistol takedown, so I am quite keen to try that as well. Anyway, big guy here, you probably want to headshot him um, for 200 experience. I just stabbed him because they go down pretty easily. But then have a look at the computer to get the information about... Uh, sorry, looking around for loot. Uh, to get the information about the knife. Uh, this ain't just a knife. Uh, to get information about the mystical blade. Uh, and then you find out that there's a bit of an explosion, so run away! Uh, and obviously now there's an amazing sequence where you've got to escape a sinking boat. So, hold on to that, you don't have to push anything, you'll do it uh, automatically. Watch the water come flooding in. And then uh, it fills up very quickly. And then you've got to swim. Here we go, come on, loading, loading, there you go. Uh, so now we've got to swim our way out, and there are a couple of different bits going on here. What, there's swimming, and there's running, and there's electric stuff, and there's someone to kill, and these things here on the left are little oxygen tanks, but you can only take one mouthful of air from them, which is peculiar. Why you can't take them with you, I don't know, but there we are. Also, maybe you want to bring some blue plants along on this mission, because blue plants let you craft deep dive, which will uh, give you extra breath for a minute. It allows you, or if you've upgraded, otherwise 40 seconds. But it allows you to breathe underwater for an extended period of time. Oh no, the water's buckling the ship's hull. So shut that. Not going to last for long, apparently. And then on through here. Uh, there's water flooding in here, so we open this. And more water comes out. Now we are underwater. There's nothing back that way. That's where I've just come from. Sorry, I don't know why I swam back there. Um, so heading back the way that we should have gone in the first place. Through here and down a level. There's a dude who attacks you, but it's just a little mashy-mashy quick time event. Uh, and then here's where I craft deep dive, because I figure I've been underwater quite some time at this point. But actually, if I'd gone the right way immediately, and I don't know how I missed that big old red light, which shows where I should be going next. Uh, um, here we go, this way, I can do it. Turn around, there, that's it. Uh, if I'd gone the way I wanted, or should have done immediately, there is that. But since I didn't, I think I probably would have died had it not been for the deep dive. Anyway, there's not much to loot here. I had a good old look around since I had the deep dive active. You can take a breath there and then smash this window. Kablam! Um, and then you are on your way out for a little cutscene with Buck. Um, I will see you in the next one. Enjoy the explosion. Lots of love. Bye! Rise and shine. Come on. You know the woods are lovely, dark and deep, mate. Hey, get the fuck up! Come on! Here you go. 
On my prize yet? It wasn't on the boat. Oh, Jason. Keith is going to be very disappointed. He looked uncomfortable last I saw him. Why are you telling me this? Oh, no. Entertainment, my dear. Entertainment. <laughs> Did you happen to find a compass? Excellent. Very good. Now, research says, follow the compass. Thanks for your help. Anytime. Now, you can handle being on your own, sir. Keith needs me. All right? Toodles.